mispronouncing my name. <laughs> so there would be like, leche, cinnabon. Cinnabon? Cinnabon. Any cinnabon? So I will be. Mm. No, nope, never recognizing it. So three hours later, I walk up to them, and they had called me apparently like a while back, and I wasn't there. Of course, whoever that is, that you know, cinema, she was never there. My name is T Papor Chandra Divya, and it's T H I P A P O R N. C-H-A-N-D-R-A-D-I-B-Y-A. What is so hard about that? Unbelievable. You know, and not only that human brain doesn't register when you read it, computer used to do that too. Remember when we first had the internet? And then we have to fill out forms, and every time I put my name in, they say, stop using explicit words. Porn. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And so, you know, I always, I people always like do that. Sometimes they even like intentionally not reading it correctly because they were afraid like some like moral law police will catch them. So they'll look at my name and it's like T H I P A and the you know what word, right? So. They would be like, T P A P O R, and it has to be punch. T P A punch. <laughs> Did I say that right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, she said it as if like I would be offended by that. You know, I'm not in porn. <laughs> That's my name. So no, bitch. It is what it looks like. So read it right. Tea pop porn. It means the gift of every sunrise. Yeah. yeah. Totally not the gift to get a rise, you know? <laughs> Speaking about porn, I'm, I'm kind of getting to that age that is like closer to uh, retirement. And that is great. If only I know what that is. Because like um, retirement, that's like not working, right? When you don't work, that's retirement. So wasn't I born retired already? Um, why are we like going to have to plan for retirement again? See, when I was a kid, you just like do whatever you want, whenever you want. And that's retirement to me, right? Right? You like you gotta go to school, you gotta get a degree, you gotta work, and you gotta plan your retirement. Hmm. What what um what a concept, right? I mean, what the fuck is that? <laughs> so so I was born into technically a retirement home, and then one day I'm gonna go to another retirement home. That's kind of the way I, I thought it is. And you know what? Recently I was. I was um, checking out this retirement place down in Orange County because one of my friends is moving over there. So as we were there, like somebody hit on her and he was going like, yo, how you doing, babe? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, of course she was flattered. I mean, you know, she's moving there. She sent me something and somebody hit on her and with all that like lusty look and like a dirty like tone of voice, and dragging along with him his oxygen tank. <laughs> Woo! Lover boy, take a breath. You might not get a sweetheart here. You might get a heart attack instead. <laughs> well, um, I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I have so much stuff I can open a 7-Eleven in my house. And my adult children have been shopped there. <laughs> Do you? Anybody here have adult 
adult children who come shopping at your house? They'll come in and they'll be like, they'll look around and shell, and they'll look everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, next time when they come in, instead of saying hi, I'll say paper or plastic. <laughs> <laughs> they also like do grocery at my little seven eleven. You know now that toilet paper are like hot item? Of course I have like twenty Costco sized pack of tissue paper in my house, right? And they'll come and they'll like shop one by one. And I thought to myself, I should charge the retail. <laughs> because that's the way I could like save up for that retirement home down in OC. Maybe I get lucky too. <laughs> <laughs> I just got done with um, Christmas shopping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, five months, only five months ahead. <laughs> so that, that's what book that we can do to you. So, yeah, but also because I really love Christmas. I do love Christmas. Yeah, yeah. But the gift giving of it really confuses me. It's in Christmas Jesus' birthday. Right? So why are we giving each other gifts? Didn't like the three kings came to the baby Jesus in the day with gifts? But instead of giving each other's gift, is there like somebody else's birthday I don't know about? <laughs> yeah, and then when you think about giving Christmas gifts or giving birthday gifts, um, I kind of feel weird about that a little bit because what did they do to deserve a gift? Mm -hmm. Really, if you want to give someone gifts on a birthday, you should give it to their mom. Yeah, because like, you know, all those like 52 hours like pushing you out of that. <laughs> oh my God, totally hard work that you serve it. So on Christmas Day, might as well give Mary a gift, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love Christmas. Christmas is a wonderful <laughs> event, a wonderful time. Because Christmas Eve, we are busy trying to like buy everything and pick up everything to put in the Christmas tree and the Christmas day, we're gonna try to return all of them because people don't really like it. So we are really, really good about making all this holiday into like a shopping spree. We even invented like Black Friday in July. <laughs> My gift tonight is being here with you guys, so Thank you very much. I love this place. I love this place.